I'm a happy boy. Yeah. A happy boy. Hi folks, welcome back to Manly Kitchen. I'm really excited to get to finally do a video again. It's been a little over a month since I moved into the new house and you know get, just getting everything settled and, and getting back into the swing of things and finally I'm going to start doing more videos. Now today I'm going to show you frito pie and there's a lot of different recipes on this. This is basically a ground beef chili with beans with some fritos. Not a whole lot to it. So let's turn around into the kitchen and let's have some fun. What we're working with today ground beef, onion, cumin, chili powder, Got a small can of green chilies, some garlic, some tomatoes and green chilies. Now you can use plain chopped tomatoes or diced tomatoes if you want. I, I usually go ahead and use the Rotel. Then we have black beans and pinto beans, some shredded cheese. Of course got to have lots and lots of fritos so I got two bags. And then we have some uh, cilantro for topping. Okay I heated my pan, then I heated my oil, then I got my ground beef in there. and. I got that browning up pretty nice. It's going to be a couple more minutes. While that's going on, I'm going to go chop up the onion and drain the beans and get everything ready to go. And I'll be right back. All right. Let's start adding some stuff. Got the can of green chilies. Put those in there. Get the onions in. And you know, I forgot one thing as I was showing you the ingredients. I forgot to mention the jalapenos. Now the recipe calls for one to two uh, full peppers. You know, do them, do them as you want them. And if you want to get it extra hot, hot, if you're using a jar like I am, put a little of the juice in there. <laughs> That'll get your attention. I'm getting texts like a son of a gun today. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we let that go for another few minutes to soften up the vegetables, and then we'll continue. And I'm going to see what my text says. Okay, the next thing is to get your chili powder and your cumin in there. And stir that up real well. Get that blended in with the hamburger as best you can. More texts. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is just looking so good. And finally, the drained beans. <laughs> oh, man. While I'm waiting for this to simmer out, I'll tell you that normally if you want to do a big dish of it, you'd put it in a baking dish. A 13 by 9 works really well for the recipe I'm showing you today. And then you'd bake it for 30 minutes or so, put some cheese on it, let it melt. But the other way to do this is individual servings. And that's what I'm going to do today. And if you give me just another minute or two, I'm going to show you how we do that. It's always a good idea to get an extra bag of Fritos. 
because when I cook this, about half a bag is gone before I ever get it to the table. Oh, baby. Boy, talk about distracted today. I mean to tell you. I almost forgot to put the corn in there. It's all those tests. Just trying to do this video, I've gotten about 40 messages. But you know what they say, don't worry until they stop calling. <laughs> okay. You know, the recipe calls for a 10 ounce can. Uh, that's a 14 and a half ounce, but you know, like always, I kind of eyeball it to decide what looks right. Y'all take a look. You tell me if that looks right. Oh, man. Okay, time to serve. Now, I told you, individual portions tonight. And the way you do that is you start out with a crust of Fritos. Get yourself a nice scoop of chili on top of that. immediately get your cheese on there so that it'll melt. And that's the, the one big difference about doing the individual portions is that you really want to get that cheese on there right away. Then you can get everything else, no big deal. Like some chopped onions. Sliced jalapenos. cilantro leaves. And then just to make sure they know that there's fritos underneath, put your cup of fritos on there. There you go. Let me serve this up. I'll be right back. Well, that was a ton of fun. And, you know, while it was simmering, while I had the camera off, I figured out that it's been like two months since I did a video. And I think that's part of the reason that my rhythm was off, that and all those texts I was getting. But I did remember to get the, the corn in there. I did show you the jalapeno slices if you want to make it hotter. And look, if you really want to up the heat instead of jalapeno slices, go ahead and chop you up a couple of habaneros and drop that in your chili and see how that goes for you, okay? Uh, personally, I liked it right where it was. It's good to serve to a wide range of people. And uh, if they want it hotter, you know, I've always got a couple of dozen hot sauces they can choose from. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up and uh, then probably have thirds because I already had two bowls. But before I go, I want to remind you that the entire recipe is over on manlykitchen.com. So stop by there to get the measurements. All right. And secondly, if you're on YouTube, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be the first to know when the new videos do come out. And moving forward, I'm hoping to get one a week done, right? So, I'm Lane. This is Manly Kitchen. And don't forget, y'all, play with your food. I'm a happy boy.